you very much. Everybody hear me okay? All right, I'm going old school here. I'm not using the phone. I'm sticking with paper. But anyways, like he said, our, uh, my project or our project is discovering our past with a uh, purpose. And actually how I started into this line of thinking uh, of what we're going to do, uh, I'm involved with sports at our school at Jenkins. Uh, I teach social studies, 9 through 12, and uh, our school logo, you know, when stuff goes out to the media and uh, media newspapers to show scores and stuff, I was like thinking to myself, it doesn't look very intimidating to me. I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that logo. So I go to the athletic director and I'm like, would you mind if like, you know, we could do some work on the logo? And he's like, uh, well, I really don't want to do that. And I'm like, well, why not? This is not, you know, this logo is a great logo for a school district. It's great for a sports team, not very intimidating. Well, come to find out our logo is actually they went in and it's the same, our town Jenkins was actually built by Consolidated Co. And their emblem was actually, it said, Consolidated Cavalier Co. We're Jenkins Cavaliers. The difference being, it, I think the color they had were, was red. You know, we ended up with green. So that started me into this, uh, the line that I wanted to go into with this project. and. Kind of, uh, also I noticed, before I get into that, going, coming in to town from both directions, uh, you see signs like, Welcome to Jenkins, City Built on Coal, okay? And that's kind of a twofold thing because it's literally a city that is built on top of coal that had been mined, and also it's a city that was built by consolidated coal and they actually had to come in and build the housing, put in all the infrastructure to get the workers in to extract the coal and get it to the steel mills. So, moving on forward, after sticking my foot in my mouth with the athletic director, uh, kind of got involved with KVEC. And, uh, it was, you know, this was, this was my first year, you know, and... I'm in year two, but what I noticed in my first year was over the year uh, in, in my classes when I would uh, give tests, I found that my students had trouble discerning uh, answers on, on test. And I'm like, they, they know, they know what, like I know they know the material, I know they know it. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? And being in the MAT program, I would get observed. And uh, my first two observations, my peer would say, well, one thing is you're doing all the talking. You're not letting them talk. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. I'm working too much. You know, and that's basically what she told me. You're working too much. So, and we also come to the conclusion that maybe uh, they were struggling to connect when they would be being tested uh, because simply what they were being taught was not of particular interest to them. Okay? So, and coming into this, my knowledge was... Well, let me give you a little background of myself first so it makes a little more sense to you. Uh, I started undergrad in 1998, got my bachelor's, finally finished it in 2011, and then last year was my first year in math. So there were some big gaps in there, and what I had to go on was my professors from college and my social studies teacher that I had in high school 20 two years ago now, I guess. And uh, he, would, he would come in and he would, he would talk and he would talk and he would talk and you would take notes. So, you know, pretty much like a college class. And I got to thinking, you know, after being evaluated, you know, that, that makes a lot of sense because I didn't, I liked history and I did well in, in my history classes, but, you know, 
kids these days, there's so much stuff out there to compete with. So much stuff out there to compete with. And it's hard to get their interest. So I thought, well, maybe we can study something that they know about and they can get involved with. So what we plan to do is kind of implement a student-centered uh, teaching techniques. Uh, we'll have like uh, centers, you know, we're going to try to uh, strengthen our students' literacy skills, uh, strengthen their abilities to comprehend, read flu fluently, and make text connections. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff also in combination with fifth grade at our school. And the way this is going to work out, we're in the process, we haven't got it yet, but we're going to get a 3D camera, uh, some iPads, some, uh, external hard drives, and what we plan to do on our part is go through the town of Jenkins, and uh, we're going to try to put together a virtual tour to where like you could go up to the old uh, train depot and set up the camera and then find some people uh, that know the history, which there are a wealth of people in Jenkins that know the history of the town. And you're taking this virtual tour, then you go over here and you click on this this spot and this person pops up and they tell you a story. I'll give you an example. There's an old tunnel that actually goes through Pine Mountain that's now closed uh, that they used to haul train, train went through. There's a train tunnel. And just by mentioning this to some people in my family, I actually, my uncle, by marriage, his grandfather was the uh, first guy to actually take a, the train through the tunnel from Kentucky into Virginia. So his mother has a wealth of knowledge on it, so I, I plan on using her. And then the fifth grade is going to be doing a lot of stuff with census and uh, maps. and. And what we're trying to get our kids to understand, you got to realize that in, you know, uh, we're founded in 1912, 1917. We have a high school. There's over 10,000 people. Now we're our population's a little under 2,000, and we're trying to make our our kids make this connection of why this is happening because we all realize that coal is never going to be in Eastern Kentucky. What it was before it that's not going to happen and if we want these kids to stay in the area have productive lives and keep our area going they've got to find the next thing so by going by our past we find our future so that's kind of the gist of what what we've got to do so if anybody has any questions i'd be glad to answer one